Hello and welcome back. In the previous video, we did some animation retargeting, where we took this animation starter pack that had animations with the Unreal Engine mannequin skeleton assigned to them, and we wanted this reload animation to work with our Bellica mesh, which uses a different skeleton. It uses the skeleton called Bellica skeleton, so we had to retarget that animation to the Bellica skeleton. And that worked just fine, except when you look closely, you'll see that something isn't quite right with her animation. And that's because she's grabbing the wrong location for the clip on the gun. This is because her gun is a little bit unusual compared to most guns. Most weapons have the clip in the front, but hers is back behind the trigger. And so for that reason, the animation doesn't quite look right. So in this video, we're going to make some adjustments to her animation here in the editor so that we'll have a version of this animation that looks correct for her weapon. Now, we're going to make a duplicate of this animation because we're going to have a different version of this reload animation for each weapon. And so for this one, I'd like to call her weapon an SMG because it looks like a submachine gun. So let's go ahead and create a duplicate of her new animation that we retargeted called Reload Rifle Hit Bellica. Let's right click, duplicate that, and let's call this Reload underscore SMG for the SMG weapon. And we can close out of Reload Rifle Hit Bellica, and we can open our new duplicate called Reload SMG. Now I'm going to hit pause here in the animation track and scrub back into the very first frame, the very beginning, and we're gonna see that she's not quite looking right. Her, her weapon is a little too low, and her hand is not holding the actual handle of the weapon, so we need this to look a little bit better. So we're gonna make some adjustments here. In order to get a correct look for her base pose, I'm gonna open up her hip fire montage, and I'm gonna hit pause, and scrub to the beginning of this, and we'll see that at the beginning, here is what we'd kind of like her animation to look like. At the beginning of that reload animation, this is the pose we want. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of this for reference. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, you can hit Windows Shift S, and that allows you to select with box select, basically a portion of the screen you would like a screenshot of and that's copied to the clipboard. Then you can paste it in somewhere. If I open up Trusty Paint, I can Control V to paste that in, and now I have her reference pose here that I can take a look at while I'm making adjustments. I'm gonna drag this off screen so that I don't have to switch between the editor and the paint application, so it'll be here and I'll be looking at this the whole time. Now I'm gonna close out of hip fire montage and I'm gonna reopen reload SMG. I'm gonna pause the animation and scrub to the very beginning. And then I can just simply uh, adjust my view here and take a look and see that there's this discrepancy between what she looks like and the base pose from our hip fire montage. I would like her to start off looking more like her hip fire montage pose so we can go ahead and make some adjustments here in the animation editor. And we do that by taking her skeleton tree hierarchy and selecting bones and adjusting those bones. So let's do that. First, I'm gonna start with her right arm. So let's scroll down and I'm gonna take a look at her upper arm R and I'm gonna make sure snapping is turned off. So up here we have the snapping icon. I'm gonna turn that off so I can smoothly adjust her arm. Now, in her base pose, it looks like her arm is forward a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make some rotation adjustments until her arm looks a little bit better. Okay, so I'm satisfied with how her upper arm looks. Now I'm gonna move to her lower arm. So I'm gonna select lower arm R and make some adjustments. Notice how I'm adjusting all three of the axes until I get it to look just right. 
So that looks approximately okay. It doesn't have to be perfect since whenever we change animations, it's going to blend between those animations. We just want it approximately correct. Now that her lower arm looks okay, I'm gonna adjust her right hand bone called hand R. Okay, once I have this approximately looking about right, now I can move her other arm. Now, what I want to do is move her left arm so that the hand is on the handle of the gun here. So I can go ahead and start adjusting these bones. I'll start with her left lower arm. That bone is called lower arm L and just start making adjustments. Okay, so it's in about the right position here, but it's not reaching far enough, so now I'm gonna move up to upper arm L and move it forward a bit. And I'll just swap between upper arm L and lower arm L until I get this looking like it's in the right position. Now, once you're satisfied with how it looks, if, if it looks like it's holding approximately the correct position, then we're ready to save this information. Now, if we were to just close out of this right now, we'd lose all of the adjusting that we just did. We, it would be gone. So we need to actually save this pose in the animation track here. So we can do that by adding a key to the animation track. And we do that by selecting any one of the bones in the hierarchy and clicking on this plus icon here that says key. Now, if I click that, then all of a sudden down here in the animation track, we have some information. It shows all of the bones that we've adjusted. And now that key is saved in the first frame of the animation. We have to be on the first frame of the animation to save it right here on this frame. So now we can scrub through and you'll see that the, the animation is slightly different. It's not fixed by any means, but at least it starts off in the right location. So our next task is to scrub through to a particular pose that looks incorrect. And that next part is going to be where she grabs the clip here. So we're gonna scrub right to the point where she grabs the clip and we're gonna make some adjustments here. So go ahead and start grabbing bones and moving them until it looks correct. So one of the first things I'll do is adjust her right arm just a little bit since it's a little close to her face. So let's go to the right arm. I'm gonna go to lower arm R. I'm gonna move this out a bit. I'll even twist it a little so it's not angled so, so dramatically. And next I can go ahead and once I've adjusted this and I'm happy with it, I can go ahead and adjust the left arm. So I'm gonna to go to the left arm bones. I'll start with lower arm L and just adjust it. So this can be a combination of moving both the left and the right arm. So once the left and right arms look good, we'll be ready to add another key. So I'm gonna adjust this a bit more. Okay, so this is looking just about right. Now, of course, you're gonna adjust this until you're satisfied with it. It might, uh, it might be a little bit different in your case, uh, but once you've got it looking just about right and you're happy with it, then we're ready to add another key to the animation track. So with one of the bones selected, click on the plus icon, and now that key will be saved. And so now our animation is looking pretty good, at least from the beginning up to this point. So if we scroll back to the beginning, we'll see that she's holding the correct part on the weapon. And if we scroll up to the point where we grab the clip, she's grabbing the correct location. Now continue to scroll through and you'll see that she's reaching back for a new clip 
And, and this would be a point where you would adjust again if you had a clip somewhere else and she needs to grab somewhere else on her body, then you would pause here, make some adjustments and add a key here. Okay, so once you've made all the adjustments and you're happy with it and you've created the keyframes for each pose that you've needed to adjust, now you're ready to save this. Now, if you want, you can double click here and you get the curve editor, which allows you to actually select individual keys, and these correspond to uh, the different rotation, translation, and scale of each bone, and you can adjust them individually. And you can also select them by clicking and dragging, and if you're not happy with them, you can delete them here. So that's how you can adjust on an even more fine-tuned scale. Uh, but once you're finished adjusting for this animation, you can go ahead and save this asset. And now just go ahead and click play and make sure that this looks correct for this animation. So now we've fixed this animation to where she's grabbing the clip and her hand is going to the actual location of the magazine on her weapon. So now we can actually use this as a reload animation with this weapon. So that looks great. So that will go ahead and conclude this video. And in the next video, we're going to continue with our reloading and with ammunition for our shooter game. So we will see you in the next video.